Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Blind Valkyria Chronicles LP. So, right now we're going to be doing the reports, maybe two of them, or maybe all three, depending on how long the battles take and the cutscenes also take. Uh, so this is the one that seems to be the earliest, probably near the Barrier Thrones chapter, uh, because I did have to go quite a few back like to get to this one. But uh, Signs of Awakening, Barrier once more. Let's do this. So I'm wondering how many people I'm going to have for this mission. Hey, Welkin. They called you in too, Faldio? Yeah, looks like they've got all the squad leaders assembled. Must be something big. It looks like all of you made it. You've probably already guessed why you're here now. The militia will be staging a suppression op using all of its forces. A suppression op, Captain? As you know, the Empire has a series of camps spread throughout the Barrios Badlands. Each of your squads will work separately to strike them simultaneously. I see. If we attack them at the same time, we won't have to worry about reinforcements. Correct. Welkin, your squad will take the camp located atop the northern Barrios Mesa. Yes, Captain. The operation begins tomorrow morning. Be sure you're fully rested. Dismissed. Okay, so pretty simple. So we're on top of a plateau. So I'm guessing the challenge is you have to go around and around to get to the top. So seems pretty, seems pretty uh, s standard. Let me catch you up on the current situation. Remnants of the Empire's forces were spot setting up camp in the highland region of the Barrier's Badlands. Also, they have ladders going up as well. That's good. Your squad will split up between north and south to cut off their escape route. Okay. And you have to weather their counteroffensive as you make your way to the summit. The objective here is to occupy their base camp. Okay. So, we're up there. We got Elisa and Welkin up top. And I don't have... Okay, so because we're back in time, essentially, I don't have Zaka. And this is interesting because it said it said uh, signs of awakening, which uh, uh, I'll put Rosie there, I'll put Largo back here because I want moves. Um, it said signs of awakening, which uh, makes me think maybe a sniper would be good. I'm not sure if they have tanks. Uh, they might. So I'm going to take Oscar as well, just in case. Um, they said signs of awakening, and Faldio actually said something about, uh, said something about, uh, seeing the blue fire that night or whatever. So I'm belie I believe that this is probably gonna, uh, put forward, uh, put forward some, like, light on why he said something like that, because I don't remember. gonna be big! Be careful out there, Sevens! Squad seven, move out! Because I don't remember there ever being a uh, any blue fire, like blue light, blue flames on Elisa at any point in time. What kind of weirdos would set up camp at the top of a rocky hill like this? A bunch of snipers. Well, the gravity makes attacks from high places more dangerous. Maybe that's it. Either way, we should watch out for fire from above. Okay. Entering combat. Okay, so it'd be funny if uh, Welkin could use it, use that ladder. Okay. Um, improved trap. Okay. Uh, five to kill there. Five to kill there. Two to kill in the head, two to kill in the head. <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna take him out. Doing well. just keep, it up. keep the tank moving. My turn, okay. Uh, I wanted to. Could I hit him from here? 
Ugh, that would be such lucky shots. Going for it. Damn it. That was dumb of me. That was really dumb of me. It's even pretty dumb of me because chances are that, uh, that Lancer is going to be uh, killed by a return fire. Because for him to do it, he has to walk or even activate, and he'll probably just be killed. So it was pretty dumb of me anyway. Okay. So I'm going to use Marina to take out this guy immediately. Marina's probably not going to be... I'm not sure whether or not they're going to be assaulting us. Uh, okay, that's a tank. So, probably will assault us. I'm going to hide with Largo. Because I know there's a tank there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send Ted up the ladder. I can see your punchline from a mile away. To see what's up there. Enemy found. Oh, hello, sir. I'm oh, gonna take you out because can't risk you doing stuff. Fortunately, this barricade's here. I'm not sure if I could grenade it open or not. Enemy found. Found one. Enemy found! Enemy found! Walk too slowly and we're a sitting duck. Uh, I'm not sure if Oscar would be able to get up here. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Gonna pop him right there. I may grenade this. I will at least try with Oscar. Oh yeah, he ain't making it up. Enemy spotted. It's easier just to do this. Oh come on, I see the blue right there. has a lot of defense. Get up there. Okay. So I'm going to do Enemy is now. going to and Okay, now it doesn't even Keep an eye on your equipment. the tank's firing path. Okay, I'm gonna send in Nancy. I'm gonna try and fire down at the tank from above. Because I'm not worried about the engineer. The engineer's. I feel better with you around. Yeah, not worried about the engineer because engineers are generally weak. I'm worried about the. Uh... Ah. Bitch. Really? You don't shoot at Ted, but you shoot at Nancy? Assholes. Um, and this guy's probably gonna die from here. So. I'm gonna 
use Alicia okay. again. Go up this ladder. Enemy See what's up. Hello. So you're an engineer. You're a shock trooper. You're also a shock trooper. And you're a tank. Um, I can probably take out the tank at any point. But you're directly uh, interfering in my ability to fight you. <laughs> Stop right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to gonna take out this tank because out of everyone, they would do the most damage. current action, because the Shock Trooper Engineer will do damage to Alicia. That's a given. But the uh, tank would probably be able to kill her. Yeah, exactly what I thought would happen. He moves and dies. Wow, really, Ted? You couldn't get him one more time? Well, not that I really need Oscar anymore. Oh, wow. That's great. I mean, not that the engineer is going to be useful, because I'd just be worried about it healing the, uh... Oh, it's so nice where it's just like, oh, you made a mistake, idiot. You made a mistake trying to fight me. Yeah, idiot sniper. You do not get to mess with Oscar no more. You cannot, you cannot hurt him. Okay, so... I need to get in here, but I'm not sure if I can blow this up with grenades. So what I'm gonna do is... to hop over... that shock trooper. And there. Take out this shock trooper. It's always nice when you hear the crit go off on an already dead enemy. Put him there, or her there. Um, this doesn't look like, it looks like you have to go through the front. So, I believe it's just capture the enemy base, right? For objective. Yeah, enemy base. So the tank is basically useless because it would take too long to get up and around. Uh, but, trying to do here is I want to destroy the cover while also damaging and killing them. I'm impressed, but not surprised. Ooh, found one. What's going on up top? Okay. So now I know where all these guys are. These guys are probably gonna try and shoot her, but these things uh, because of the shock troopers, like, uh, low hold stance, they tend to hit those things. Like, good. Glad he hit that guy some. Or she hit him. Okay. I'm gonna put him in a crossfire. Right now, I'm just trying to uh, just tidy up shop. And I'm just gonna shoot this 
corner, no one there. And they're looking right at Nancy, so they have to turn to get, or they would have to turn a little bit to get dead. And now we have Ted the Ninja. Just come in here. Oh, hello there, Shock Trooper. And now you are looking at my female friend. Would you like to have some death right in the ass? Here I go. I can see your punchline from a mile away. Mm, yes. Death right in the ass. Not a very nice way to go, is it? Getting shot in the butthole. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm just gonna occupy this because Ted is a champion. Ted, you are awesome. Operation complete. We took their base. I think you can tell this mission was supposed to be a lot harder because there were tanks, but because I have my DLC and my level 20s, and I can just kill tanks in five shots from a rifle. Good to see you. Looks like you made it through. You too. And the other squads are back. Seems the Barrier suppression was successful. Lieutenant Gunther, we've made camp for the night, sir. Okay, great. Let's finish setting the... Hmm? Alicia, your arm's bleeding. Are you alright? Huh? Oh. Something this small should heal up in no time. I'll be fine. Here, let me take a look. You've been shot. Lucky thing it only hit your arm. Does it hurt bad? Uh, a little. It doesn't look too deep, but it still needs to be properly dressed. Sit tight. I'll get you patched up. You still need to finish getting Squad 7 settled. Thanks, Valdio. I know she'll be in good hands. Please. Leaving a lady to bleed would go against my gentleman's morals. Ugh. All of this is just like, oh yeah, Faldio? Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Faldio. Yeah, go against your gentleman's morals, but you're gonna shoot her. Like near the heart. I'm gonna I'm gonna save uh, right now. Okay. Yeah, look at look at this. Unfortunately I saved over the prologue, but yeah, looks so nice. Say welcome. Already asleep, huh? Eh, no worries. I guess I'll just come back tomorrow. Huh? Alicia. What's going on? Signs of awakening. Signs. <laughs> it's another big day for Squad 7. Oh, morning, Isara. Here, Aww. let me help you with that. Thank you kindly, Alicia. Are you certain your arm is all right? Fine. <sighs> See? No problem, even with the heavy stuff. <laughs> well, I'm glad. Just be sure you take it slow. I will. Thanks. Alicia. Oh, Faldio. Thanks again for yesterday. Sure. Tell me, how is your arm doing now? I woke up this morning and it was all better. It isn't even sore anymore. Not at all. I've had bruises last a week and yours was a gunshot. Ever since I was a kid, I've been quick to recover. Bet you're jealous, huh? <laughs> um... Well, just as long as you're all right. Still, be sure to take it slow. <laughs> Isara just said the same thing. Morning. Oh, hi, Hans. What, is it time for breakfast? Morning. Morning. I 
better get cooking then. Well, I've got to head off. Sure. Don't want people going hungry. Alicia. Okay. Ah, oh, God. This is so long ago. Fucking. And they just had to throw Isara in there. Like, oh yeah, Isara's still kicking at this point in time. And it's like, oh, you bastard. You're a bastard. Okay, so let's, let's see one more time. So now we're doing What Lies Beyond Hate, Virat's Vendetta. So we know that Virat lost someone that her and Largo know, and probably were was in the army as well, or in the militia. So. Thank you for coming, soldiers. I apologize for the lack of notice. I've called you for a special operation. You'll be liberating Galleon hostages. I'm issuing this order on my own authority. I haven't reported it. I'll bear the risk. You don't have army clearance? Why not report it, Captain? There will be no questions. You need only perform the mission as directed. The enemy are what's left of the Thousand Camp. They're holed up in a house on the outskirts of the city. Your objectives are to return all hostages and capture or eliminate all Imperials. The enemy is led by a man named Geld. Georgios Geld. He tortured and murdered Galleons in the First European War. He warrants no pity. Georgius Geld? Hell, is this about... Prepare for deployment immediately. You are dismissed. The captain didn't seem like her usual self. It was almost scary. No surprise there. She's been living the last 20 years to get revenge on Geld. What? Revenge for what? Back in EW1, she and I were called into the militia, just like you kids now. She and a buddy of mine, Frederick, were in the same squad, and fell for each other hard. But the enemy got Frederick one day. Word is, the enemy captain tortured him to death. That enemy captain was Georgios Geld. When the war ended, she stayed on. My guess is, it was just for a chance of revenge. That's terrible. I had no idea. So time to go kill this fuck. Happily as well. So let's... I don't need to save again. Hostage rescue operation. Time to murder this son bitch. Here are your orders. God, this map's tiny. Those imp cowards have taken civilian hostages and holed up inside a private residence. Squad have aren't meant to the site from this point. You can't let them see you coming this time, Lieutenant. If they spot you, those hostages are dead. Begin by making your way to the building undetected. If you don't stay hidden in the grass, they'll spot you. Once you've completed your approach, take down all the lookouts at once. If any survive, they'll alert the others. Your objective is to exterminate every imp on the scene. Am I clear? When you stop moving, stay hidden in the grass. If you're seen, kill them all before that phase is through. Once the coast is clear, you'll enter the residence. Free the hostages, disarm the hostiles inside, and hold them. You'll be participating here as a foot soldier, which means you won't be able to issue orders for this mission. Okay. So I get five people. Uh, obviously, you gotta have Alicia. Chances are, this... You know what? I've always wanted to do this. All scout mission. Let's deploy. If capturing the enemy is not feasible, then kill them. They merit no mercy. Mm, you're a hard-boiled dame. Listen up, my little hostages. You're going to be our shields until we reach the next camp. I recommend against trying anything, or things may get unpleasant for you. Geld and his men are hiding in that house. There are patrols monitoring the perimeter. Be careful. If they detect your approach, they may harm the hostages. Don't let anyone spot you as you approach the building. If they see you, the mission fails. Once you're close, take out the lookouts. Leave even one, and Geld will know we're here. Those are your orders. Failure is not an option. 
Oh shit, debating whether or not I should have uh, taken Rosie and uh, Rosie and uh, what's his name? Largo. Just to get some more turns. Because I'm probably only going to use two people. Okay, I'm going to end there. Because I'm not sure. So, chances are I have to get here, take them out because they're on the roof or something, and then get here and take them out because I can see them at that point. I'm gonna use Welkin just because like, I understand Melville is closer by a little bit. What do you intend to do with them, sir? Certainly. Once we reach the nearest allied camp, they're useless on killing myself. Nice and slow. After having a bit of fun. <laughs> oh, you're gonna be fun to murder. <laughs> So I'm going to use Welkin to take out this guy, because I'm hoping, because I'm thinking that if Alicia uh, pops out, she'll be seen by the dude on the roof, Yes. which wouldn't be good. So I'm going to put him right here. If only I had decided against the, you know, all scout thing. Man down, sir. Ah, oh, shit. The are yeah. My, my. So they've ignored my kind warning and come for. Yeah. There's nothing for it. We leave the house at once. I'll dispose of the hostage first. No. The mission's failed. Frederick. I. I'm sorry. Damn it. Okay. Well, at least now I know what I need to do. Um, yeah. Because I, I I can't retry the battle as it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wish you could skip this shit. Because I don't care. I know. I'm redoing it. I wish it literally was just like, okay, yeah, I, I, get, the, I, get, I get what the mission is. You don't have to tell me again. You just need to let me go. 
and do. Um, no, I guess I'll take Marina. Because there's no one else that can give me moves, so. Might as well take a sniper to take out the scout. Like on the roof. Because now I'm going to have four moves instead of two. Yeah. I'm actually gonna spin her this way. That way, she doesn't try and uh, retaliate fire. In case she has the range. Okay. And once again, I'm gonna move Vulcan up here. Uh, sorry if this is a little bit boring that I've already done it. Uh, I'm gonna mash through the text. So, uh, yeah, just end the current phase there, because I need to let them move. Yeah, 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 I'm just gonna mash there. Wish I could skip the text, but I can't, because, you know, they don't like me like that. into the one position a sniper would not be able to hit you from. You, sir, are an asshole. down there did one damage to me. They did one damage. Here we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna run through because it doesn't matter. Hello, sir. Hmm. Wish I could just run through those doors. Oh, hello, sir. Here we go. Hmm. Yeah. Have you heard? Uh, have you heard about the dude who lost his asshole up on the uh, various, <laughs> various mesa? <laughs> it was with this gun. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was such a simple operation. God, I suck. Yes, that's the last of the lookouts. And I probably got a B because I took two turns. Good. Now storm the building immediately. Get those hostages and bring me Geld! What? A Galleon attack? When did you... It's all over, Geld. Your miserable life ends here. No, I'm not. I don't see how you could do it in any less than that. Like, I could see you doing one turn somehow. If you were really good at the game or something. But I don't see how you could do it in less than that. Unless you were just like, yeah, I'm just going to take turns, stock up on turns. So this is Georgios Geld. Taking civilian prisoners violates treaty law, does it not? Please, forgive me. We, we just wanted to see our homes again, that's all. I'd have released the hostages along the way. It's true, Valkyra strike me down. Silence! Who'd believe the words of scum like you? I've no doubt you'd slaughter them all. Your evil won't go unpunished. You are hereby sentenced to death by firing squad. But, Captain Barat, prisoners of war have a right to a formal trial. You can't just... I can and will. I'll kill him myself if I have to. I'll take full responsibility. 
If you do this, you'll be discharged from the militia, Captain. And what of it? I've lived for the day I end this man's life. It's all I can do for Frederick now. There's nothing else left. Oh. Don't do this, L. Largo. Why? Why stop me? This snake of a man killed Frederick. He butchered our friend. Frederick died horribly. Tortured. Broken. Doesn't that make you angry? Of course it does, L. I could wring the rat bastard's neck myself. I feel like if you killed the guy now and said, yeah, we, we, he was killed in the crossfire, I feel like no one would say otherwise. Like, Largo just point his lance at him to blow him up. I feel like no one would really say, like, oh, they did this. It's like, nah, probably be, it would probably go fine. But do you think Frederick would want that? Think he'd want you to bloody your hands? I mean, she fought in the militia in the first European war. She's probably killed plenty of people, right? Back then, us three were always talking about how we'd build a peaceful Gallia. Frederick's gone, but I know he'd still want that, even now. Marco! You didn't stick around the force this long just to take revenge, Elle. You stayed for a chance to give yourself this new beginning. You'll have me. I. I'll watch over you forever. Yo, great way to propose. Fucking in front of the enemy commander that you want to literally destroy. It's great. It's great. <laughs> Finally, back in friendly territory again. So he was released? That could have ended exceptionally badly. Thank goodness the Gallia were weak. Halt! Identify yourself. Captain Georgius Geld. Yeah. I was returned as part of the prisoner exchange. So you're Geld, are you? I hear you took non-Darkson civilians as hostages. That was after serving time for abuse of captives in the first European war, correct? Yeah, yes. But that was a long time ago, and... Lord Commander Maximilian is a strict man on protocol. You've roused quite a fire in him. You're to be court-martialed forthwith. Brace yourself for the worst, Captain. No, but... But I... I... Take him away. Stop! No! Let me go! No! I... I don't want to die! This can't really... I don't want to die! Oh, I wish I could have seen him die. And a new step forward. One step forward, two steps back. Marco, has everything I've done up to now been a mistake? Ever since Frederick was killed, I've thought of little else other than avenging his death. But, it's like you said, killing that man won't bring Frederick back. So we can't get Frederick back, but we're still going to have to live our lives. Hmm? Know what I think? We've got to live our lives the best we possibly can. You ask me, part of that means bringing peace back to Gallia. That's what I think he'd want. I know. How about we start a vegetable garden? Vegetables taste good, look good, and they're good for you. We're gonna make Gallia one big farm. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's so funny? I just pictured Gallia as this giant pumpkin patch. It's too funny. Why oh, laughing? I know you've always been watching my back for me. That's the only reason I've made it this far. Largo, thank you. Uh, sure.
Look at this. Just what's going on here? Hey, we're just... That is, uh... Well, well, Largo. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Who would have guessed what? That's quite enough. The hostages were all recovered safely. Mostly thanks to your squad's efforts. Completely. Your orders are to return to the capital as soon as possible. That's all. Dismissed. Captain! See, my question is, if Largo has been in the military for so long, how come he wasn't, like, put in command of, like, his own like, battalion or whatnot? Because it feels like uh, Welkin, he was like, yeah, I passed militia training in high school or whatnot, and uh, now I'm the leader of a squad in a militia. Cool. Great. Yeah, this guy has been in there for presumably, like, 20 years in the, in the militia, and is under my rank, which I seem is a little, like, okay, maybe he's not the smartest guy, but it seems like it doesn't take a lot of smarts to be general, so, whatever, let's do, let's do this one, we're running at 42, I'm not sure how long the battle will take, but this, this will probably be over an hour episode. What do you mean we're deploying? Alicia's been shot, remember? Ah, oh, so this is like right after. An Imperial raiding party is approaching via a long path around eastern Nagyar. If they manage to hit us in the flank in the shape we're in now, things will get ugly. <coughs> Excuse me, that was a sneeze. I'm sorry. I wouldn't kill the other side to show a bit of consideration. The Nagyar battle hurt the militia just as badly as the rest of the Galian army. It pains me to send you back out there now, but I need you to stop that raid. The enemy is approaching a refugee camp housing evacuees from border towns like Brule. I'd like you to secure the safety of that camp in addition to halting the enemy. May I ask how Alicia's condition is? We haven't seen her since she was hurt. Sergeant Melchiot is still unconscious. Still no signs of waking up. You'll have to make do without her this time around. Good luck, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Gunther. Are you listening? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, Captain. I know you're worried about her, but times like this are when the squad needs you most. Yes, Captain. I look forward to a favorable report. You're dismissed. Hey, boss. What's the plan? Right. Okay. Everybody, get yourselves ready. I'll do the same. Welkin's taking this pretty hard, isn't he? I just hope he doesn't let that gloom slow him down in the field. All right. Let's go do this. Let's go do this. Okay. So... We're still on Nagi airplanes, I'm guessing. So... But it does seem like... Uh, it's hard to tell. I'm trying to figure out whether or not a... A sniper or not would be useful. Here are details on the current operation. Rule. Okay, so it does seem like oh, wide open plans and whatnot, but there does seem to be a bit of grass. Uh, Enemy is deployed along the road at the northern end of the combat area. So I said we'll take a position in here and wait. The force will advance southwards towards the rest of the camp. You will all give them a warm reception and some new holes. Your objective is to either prevent their entry into the designated area for eight turns or to defeat all enemies. Given eight turns, the refugees can be evacuated to safety. While not required, eliminating all enemies is another option. If you're feeling ambitious, give it a shot. The field is, this time is one big grassy plain. There are more than enough area, places to lie low and keep hidden. Needless to say, they realize that too. Expect the enemy to make a stealthy approach through the grass. You have to use the topography to your advantage as you keep their forces at bay. A final word, Sergeant Zaka is helping organize the refugee evacuation. You will have the Shamrock with you, okay? Any Imperial unit enters the area, Welkin dies. So we have Welkin, Rosie, and Largo. Um, uh, I'm gonna try and keep... So I got that. I'm gonna use those two. 
and hope that, and I'm gonna have them be like out. I look forward to good news from you. So I wish they would just give me a total enemy counter. <laughs> Defend the refugee camp. No one gets through. Squad seven, move out. Okay. This place is one big patch of grass. I wish we had a good scout. You dumb monk. Ixnay on mentioning Alicia. You trying to distract the boss? Ah, sorry. Just kind of slipped out. Enemy sighted straight ahead. They appear to be advancing toward the refugee camp, sir. Okay, Sevens. Don't let any of them through until the people in those camps can evacuate. Spot the approach route they're likely to take and be there to greet them. Okay. So... Wish they didn't have a fucking sniper. You stop being an idiot. Enemy spotted? There's a ton of them. They could be real close. Penetrating enemy lines. Enemy spotted? trying to take out that sniper because I feel like that would be probably one of the biggest uh, dangerous that we get. I love playing your full house. Cool. Um, going to come around this way. Because basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get all the enemies in a crossfire. Okay, so now the sniper takes a bit more. Okay, so this is the Lancer. Don't want him hurting my tank too early. See, you're gonna be Just, um, doing some work. Okay. A ton of them. So, gonna take out the scout because they can't enter the camp, which means any high movement characters that they have is bad for me. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to save right here because what I plan to do. Is I plan to take out this scout, and then I'm gonna, I'm going to save again, and then I'm going to take out this sniper because this sniper is dangerous to my turn count and all my characters other than my tank, and that is unacceptable. Okay, I'm gonna move her forward a little bit. I'm just hoping those tanks. Are gonna shoot me. And hopefully, if they move up, I'll be able to get them from behind. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to system save. And, uh, here. And then, once again, try for the sniper. But this time, I'm a bit closer. Good. Yippee! Okay, I'm gonna move 
back a little bit. Turn around. Okay. So I'm hoping that this works. Because I understand I just need to keep them out. But usually for these, it's more or less just to kill them fast. Okay, I can't tell whether or not that tank is going to be firing at Nancy. Because it... Because I find that usually... Okay. Doesn't seem like it. would start moving. That's a sniper. Oh, come on, man. Okay. So the sniper's gonna die. Which isn't bad. But I need these shock troopers to move. And die. cover and not just grass. I wish I had Alicia. I mean, yeah, I could have equipped her, or could have taken her gun. Actually, I don't think I could have, because, well, I could have, because, uh, but I just didn't, I don't like moving my weapons around based on, like, map. Okay, so... Take out these shock troopers because Enemy found. I want to move my. I want to essentially take out the tanks. That way they can't kill the Edelweiss. Okay. Take out that one. Thank you. Thank you. And I don't need to worry about the Lancer in the grass because Lancers are pointless. This side. I'm gonna end this current action. And I'm gonna save because he's in a good spot. Save. Save over that one. And the toughie is this, because this tank is really close. to take it out. Ah, uh, ah, oh, oh, get down, get down, get down. Get down. Fuck. Yeah, so that that's why. Son of a bitch. Yes, I'm gonna come up. Possibly run Ted out and around. Just 
so. I have three moves. And Toyo the Bull is a engineer. That would take three shots. Oh, no. But Toyo the Bull tank. Ugh. Takes eight shots. Four shots to kill him. Four. I'm going to prioritize because shock troopers aren't going to be able to move in fast. I'm going to prioritize killing the tanks. I can see your punch line from a mile away. Thank you, thank you. Who are these guys? So Ted might be gone. He might be a goner. Not quite sure, but I do want to decrease decrease that chance as much as possible. So I'm gonna move him back and out, and that trooper gives a turn. Damn it! Whatever. Really, Nancy, you couldn't, couldn't shoot him a little bit more. Like, I see you getting up. Luckily, he has the low angle. <sighs> wow. That, that Lancer's gutsy as hell. That shock trooper is more. Okay, so the shock troopers seem to care more about getting to the camp than they do about shooting my people. Which is good. Because what that lets me do is I can use Ted to take out that the one the uh, that tank. Because that one is going to annihilate Nancy as soon as she moves. And that's the tank that's shooting the Edelweiss right now. So, what I need to do is I need to take a circuitous uh, path around so that I have a clear but close shot on the enemy tank. I'm fine with that, because even though I did miss a few shots, it was going to take two turns regardless. So, that's fine with me. So now I'm going to use Ted again. Okay. Take out that tank. Thank you, thank you! Who are these guys? Yeah. Wow, you have some range, Engineer. How about you stop being such a douchebag? Okay, who the bullshit that you have that kind of range? Okay, and 
hoping I can use Ted to take out. Nope. Okay. Engineer Lee, you're being a douchebag. I hope you know that. I guarantee this one will slay you. This one? You died because you're an asshole. I hope you know that. Thank you. Thank you. Nice work. Okay. So I'm not going to be able to do what I wanted to there. But I could probably use Nancy. Although she does not have enough health, really. Uh, actually, I'm going to take out him. Because less turns is better. Also because I don't want him lancing her uh, afterwards. That's what I'm going to do. Because I'm going to be trying to take out the tank from here with her. So I'm going to save. I'm pretty safe in terms of uh, assuming that I'm doing good. Okay, can I move a little bit closer? Okay, so I'm guessing it's at a certain range. I have to think it's at a certain range the, uh, the whatchamacallums, the rifles stop doing as much damage as they do there. in other uh, scenarios. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take out shock troopers, because... It's not even giving me an amount of shots that it takes. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to try and line them up. Eh, well, didn't get didn't get too far, but I got a decent showing. Uh, gonna gonna leave her here. Because now the only two people left are that tank and the shock trooper. And that lancer. I forgot about that lancer. Wow! Holy shit. Fuck that. I can't hit a tank from that far away. Okay, luckily, that tank decided against firing. And that one's hiding in the grass. Okay. So, what this means is that. I'm gonna use Largo to try and do a Just gonna open yourself up like that and not take a take a shot. Then I will be more than happy to just annihilate your bottle. Okay, so there's a lancer there and a dude there. I have you. Can I do an order? Damn. do this because I've never done it before. Oh, I can only use it if an enemy's... That's dumb. 
why, why have it be an option right now? Okay. So I don't need to worry about the Lancer, because he ain't going to be taking out uh, my, my tank in one hit. So let's just run over here, Enemy sighted. figure Enemy out. Enemy yeah. There you go, bud. Thanks for coming up. Okay. Ted. I can see your punch line from a mile away. Okay. See, I wish they I wish you didn't have to go down a slope. I wish you could drop. Try to stay in the tall grass as you advance. Like, why why can't you just do a slight drop off? Like, I'm not gonna hurt myself from that distance. Enemy found. Hey buddy. What's up, pal? <laughs> I like how he just did like a cartwheel. Yeah, I don't know how you would go about keeping everyone outside of your base for eight turns with five people <laughs> without killing them all first. Because like, you'd need a mechanic to keep your you need a mechanic to keep your tank up. So that's already one of your people. And I'm guessing you need a scout to just keep up the fire rate to kill them with interception fire. Yeah. I already got a firing calculator, bud. Okay, new episode. So we're, we're, we're over an hour, but figured it would be over an hour. And did three battles in this episode. Everyone? You're all safe now. We've turned back the Imperial Raid. Still, this place could turn into a combat zone soon. Evacuate as soon as you can. I guess that takes care of this operation. Lion's paw. Um, hey, Mr. Soldier. Thanks for saving our lives. No problem. Oh, it's a lion's paw. That's my favorite flower. This girl from my orphanage told me about him. She liked him a lot, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and she was really good at cooking. I mean, soup, fish, even bread. Mm, I wish I could eat her bread right now. Good things always happen when she bakes. Lion's paw and bread? Was her name Alicia Melchiot? Whoa! You know Alicia, mister? Yeah, we're good friends. Did you know she planted lion's paw seeds all around the orphanage and all over? When they bloomed, she'd jump up and down, cheering like crazy. She did, huh? I didn't know that. Um, hey, so do you know what lion's paw means in the language of flowers? The language of... No, what does it mean? It's supposed to mean unbending spirit. That's what Alicia told me the first day I was at the orphanage. I was crying a lot. Unbending spirit. She said lion's paw seeds are super light and get blowed all over, but they're real strong. Wherever they wind up, they just grow roots and turn into flowers there. I don't got a mom or dad anymore, but... I'm going to grow up into a flower just like that. I'm sure you will. So you should do like me, mister, and look at the lion's paws whenever you're feeling sad. I'll do that. Thank you. Sure. Oh, um, I gotta go now. See you later, mister. Okay. See you later. Alicia? So, you can see where he's kind of like healing now, where it's just like, okay, I, I can get through this. Not that Alicia's dead. Everyone, I... I'm sorry. You shouldn't all have to suffer for my weakness. You got that right. 
You had us worried there, boss. Yeah, you owe us one, big time. Be ready to pay up on that one someday. <laughs> okay. Then you're feeling better, huh? Yeah, I am. Alicia, she cheered me up. Alicia did, sir? Yeah, from way back when. All this has helped me see just how important she really is to me. I've got to keep my head on straight, so we'll be ready for her when she gets back. Right on. Cheers to that, boss. The squad's just not the same with the little missus gone. Okay, Sevens. Alicia's waiting for us. Let's head back home to her. Okay. Here we are. So I'm going to save after all of that. And then I will see you guys in the next episode because now that we have done all that stuff, we are here. Uh, I'm actually going to check headquarters to see if there's any guns and stuff that were bought. But that's a next episode thing. So I hope you all have a very nice day. Start recording, record that shit, record that shit, and play the game.